Corey Knowlton is the man in Texas who paid $350,000 for the right to shoot a black rhino. Now, this is an endangered species, and people are outraged that anyone even gets the ability to kill a black rhino. There are only about 4,000 4, of them left. But Corey Knowlton wanted to hide his identity because he knew some people would uh, threaten to kill him. Well, unfortunately, his identity has been leaked, and people have already started sending him death threats. So as a, as a result, he has hired full-time security. Now, he was talking to the press about this, and he said, they're wanting to kill me, they're wanting to kill my children, they're wanting to skin us alive. And he also says the following, which makes me lose a little bit of sympathy for him. He says, I'm a hunter. I want to experience a black rhino. I want to be intimately involved with a black rhino. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. Whatever floats your boat. If I go over there and shoot it or not shoot it, it's beyond the point. Actually, it is not beyond the point. It's actually the only point. But whatever. Look, people should not be sending him death threats, regardless of how they feel about this story. Now, we had, when we originally covered it, we talked about how this is not a black or white, white issue. There are some gradations, especially because 100% uh, of the proceeds will go toward conservation. And that's important. And also, this black rhino um, is an older, um, non-procreating male. And when they get older, they become very, very territorial and aggressive, and they start harming younger males. So yeah. that was becoming a problem. Anyway, there are many little details to the story that I don't think a lot of people have been reading up on. So, so it's really interesting, because this story made me lose more sympathy for him. Okay. When we did the original story, it seemed like it was a 50-50 proposition. And you're right that it has nuance. If you just see that, hear that he's going to kill a black rhino, you're getting the wrong uh, message, right? But we were split on that on the original story because we weren't sure if the main point was to raise money to help the other rhinos. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, they did it in this creative way. Or if the main point was, how do I kill a black rhino? Oh, OK, I'll say it's for charity. I'll say it was to help other black rhinos, right? And it seems like it's the latter, right? Mm -hmm. Because this guy is, is a professional hunter. He has a business. And they raised money to be able to get attention for him. Now that he has the attention, all of a sudden he doesn't like the attention, right? And he says, they outed me. But it's kind of. But he was going to brag about it to, in his hunting circles to right. get more business. He didn't want environmentalists yeah. or right. PETA finding out what right. his identity is. But and he was definitely going to brag about it with. Right. And w and in his explanation, there was no talk of like, hey, listen, I really wanted to raise the money to make yeah. sure the black rhinos were okay and stuff. No, there was uh, all the talk about being up in the b black rhino's ass. Yeah. There's okay. well, there's blatant disregard for you know this species, because if you want to make the argument that you're raising the money uh, in, in conservation efforts, then you would actually give a damn about you know, making sure that they live. But it seems like he doesn't care if they live. When he says something like, whether I shoot it or don't shoot it, that's not really the point. My ass that's, that's the only point. You're a hunter, and you pay $350,000. You raise outside money to be able to kill that rhino. You're going to kill that rhino, OK? There's not like, oh, well, I studied it. I got to know him. Nah, that's all right. I'm going to let him go. And, and this whole talk about how he's aggressive, I'm sure that that's true for older rhinos getting more aggressive, et cetera. But that's not why they're killing them. That's part of rhino world, OK? Older rhino, black rhinos get more aggressive. They've been getting that way for a long, long time. That's in their nature. So I'm sniffing bullshit as to why yeah. they're doing this, right? So now that people found out, he's not happy about it. Look, don't get me wrong, though. The people threatening him, are you insane? What's wrong with you? If you don't like a rhino getting shot, a person getting shot is much worse. OK, so no, no, well, that's. We're not really an endangered species. I'm just, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Okay, Although no, it is true, we're not an endangered species. No, no, don't, don't mess around with stuff like that. Look, I know. anybody threatening him is an idiot and an ass, okay? Now, on the other hand, is he getting carried away? Look, a lot of stupid people talk a lot of stupid smack online, right? Then, They're not look, actually I could be go wrong, so I mean, I get it. If it's your, your family, you're worried, I, I understand it. But I'd be dramatically surprised if anybody actually wanted to skin your family alive. So it seems like, oh, this guy's like kind of loving the attention while pretending that he doesn't love it. Like, oh my god, I'm in danger. Oh, what can I do? Oh, I wanted to get up in the rhino's business. But you know what? Oh, they won't let me. All right, drama queen, bring it down, OK? So everybody involved in the story, from the people who are mad at him to him, everybody bring it down, mm -hmm. OK? It is what it is. He has the right to do it. I don't like that he's doing it now that I know his real intentions. On the other hand, if they do give the money to preserve the other rhinos, at least there's a positive side to it. So, I mean, n nobody's a winner in this story, to be honest. But at least the money's going for a good cause.